And picking up from last time, we finally yeah. we finally scanned all the fucking bugs. Oh, we can go deliver them and tell that guy to fuck off. No, apparently it's automatically completed. I checked my journal a second ago. Huh. So and we can probably go talk to the guy that was afraid of the other guy. Yeah, so now we can go see what all that's about. You are unlike the other Krogan I have met, Rex. You do not share the bloodlust of your people. When you're young, you go looking for every fight you can. You get older, you realize the best fights will find you. Hmm. <laughs> That's an interesting philosophy. Yeah? I can't Pretty say I disagree. Accurate, though. Yeah, I can't say I disagree. All right, gas ball. Hey there. Oh, you're not CSEC, are you? Did you want something? What were you trying to explain to the officer before? My colleague is trying to kill me, and I thought we were friends. How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. Is there something I can do? Talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. He thinks he can just push me around, but you'll show him, won't you? I mean, if someone does, what are you going to do? Roll? <laughs> Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Oh, well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorban. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Shorban? Isn't that the Salarian who asked us to scan the Keepers? Yep. Keepers? Well, even more reason to go after him. That's against regulations. I better look into this right away. Find out what he's up to. Anything's possible with Shorbin these days. Well, good luck. Yes, it's totally against regulations. That's why we totally didn't do it 21 times. Yeah. Oh, to totally. Yeah. A absolutely had nothing to do with it, never did it in our lives. Yeah. No, that We most certainly didn't do it for credits and XP. <sighs> He's probably in the lower market. Probably. Yep, there's an exclamation mark over here. So there is. He's got guards. <sighs> both of them, bo bo both of them got shotguns. Commander, I wasn't expecting to see you again. Is there something you want? You can start by telling me the truth, Shorvan. I'm not sure what you're referring to. My experiments are... Quit stalling. Your friend, Jalid, told us about you. You spoke with Jalid? Then you know about the data? No, but you're going to tell me everything. You boys can go. Looks like my plans have changed. It's not as bad as you think, Commander. Jalid and I just got a little over our heads. Keep talking. The company we work for developed an experimental procedure for use in medical scanners. Jalid and I saw even more potential, so we stole the plans and secretly developed a tool to scan the keepers. Can you imagine? A tool that can actually get readings from the Keepers? What's so special about that? The Keepers are almost impossible to scan, and you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them, ever. You've seen it yourself, Commander. You know we can do it. Why are you trying to kill your partner? I'm not trying to kill him. 
Khalid's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. Sigh. So you're just trying to get back what Jalid already stole. We lost our heads. We just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by. Commander. If you'll just continue gathering data for me, imagine. You are already finished. <laughs> yeah. You'll stand to make a bit of a profit yourself, remember? I suppose a little scanning here and there won't hurt anyone. Very good. Maybe if you wouldn't mind speaking with Jalid. The data you're gathering for me is useless if Jalid won't help me analyze it. I'll go have a chat with him right now. Thank you. And happy scanning, Commander. Okay, but I still want to know what the two guys with shotguns were here for. <laughs> yeah, it's like, he wasn't very convincing at the No, I didn't actually want to kill him. I mean, he might have just been might have just been paranoid of his of his, of his own brand, worried that Jalid might have hi hired some some so, some muscle. Yeah, this could be this could be a case of mutual paranoia. Not surprising, given that you know they did go around scanning keepers. Yeah, and they're not specters, so you know. Yep. They can't just do as they please. I mean, it is kind of convenient to have Rex with us. It's kind of hard to say no to a Krogan. There is that too. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorban? I found out you've been lying to me, Jaleed. Lying? Why would I lie to you? What about the data? You did not mention that before. Uh, he told you? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I was afraid Shorban would kill me to get the data, so I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. I'm scanning the Keepers for Shorban, but you two need to stop fighting. You're... You're helping us? But... Well, if you say so. Well, if Shorban can forgive and forget, then so can I. I appreciate the help, Commander. I better go get that data analyzed. Hmm. Oh, happy endings. Hello, Commander. Eh, nothing interesting. Mm -hmm. That's all I can think of to do on the Citadel for now, so we can actually fuck off and go do something else. Wow. I know, right? Right? Shandification at its finest. You say yes, you're literally just following a guy telling you what to do. So tell me. <laughs> oh boy. Who'd win in a fight between you and Shepard? Oh my. Do Krogan size up everyone for a fight? Even friends and allies? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I have a guide so that, you know, I can actually get all the shantification stuff. I still go. I'm pretty I, sure that's just completionism. It's not exactly the same. Listen, it's still technically shantification because I'm ignoring Stand the plot. By, shore party. Decontamination I mean, yes. <laughs> also, so, can you really call it shantification when I've played it dozens of times no, so I know where the half the side quests are already? Exo Presley stands exactly, and it's different. Shantification is more just a term defining on how well the story and the setting are made mesh together. And the answer here is quite well. Yes. So much so that this codex uh, is considered the in-universe uh, got encyclopedia. Yep. Which means it'll have wrong information. Message coming in. Mm -hmm. Patching it through. <laughs> Commander Miss Algelani's story on you just aired. She shouldn't have had oh, a like that. But you handled it pretty well. We had differences of opinion, sir. I hope she at least believed my sincerity. You handled yourself pretty well, Commander. She came across like a raving idiot. Just make <coughs> you know what the response was back home. I won't keep you any longer. Fifth Fleet out. <laughs> and I didn't punch Kelly Spitzin Al Jalani. Yep. Oh, right. That reminds me. She came across like a baby in here. 
computer. Uh, that's way more satisfying than punching him. I want to speak to my mother, Exo Shepherd. Shepherd speak. Oh uh, yeah. Oh hi. I don't have time for a personal call right now. I'm on duty. I know what that's like. Do you remember a Lieutenant Zabaleta from the Einstein? Ernesto? Have you heard from him? He was one of the Marines who guarded the CIC. We shared a watch. I lost track of him after there was an incident. I've seen him here on the Citadel. Looks like he's had some hard times. I don't doubt it. You remember the Batarian raid on Mindwar in 2170? You were in high school. The Einstein's task group responded to the May Day. The Batarians were still pulling out when the Marines hit groundside. Sabaleta was one of the first down. He... he was never quite the same after. I don't understand. What happened out there? About every abomination that a sentient being can do to another. To a slave, oh. a person is just another animal. And humans aren't always liked out here. We heard about Kurali. Uh, culling. They'd shoot those they couldn't use, implant control devices in the skulls of those they could, without anesthetic. That's uh, yeah, that's uh, worse than animals. He has post traumatic stress because of what he saw. He tried to keep working, but it rode him. He showed up drunk on duty more and more. We couldn't always cover for him. The Alliance discharged him. Everyone knew he drank because of what he'd seen down there, even if he never talked about it. Especially because he never talked about it. For it to have affected him that deeply, he must have been a very sensitive man. He was. Always in laughter and tears. If you see him, tell him we still worry about him. Tell him to go to the Veterans Affairs office. I have to go. But take care of yourself. You're making us proud. Kilimanjaro out. Huh. Interesting. <sighs> that means we're not quite leaving yet. Oh, I'm leaving. I'll be okay. back eventually. Yeah, kind of figure. And I, like you said, it's not like he can go anywhere. Yeah, fair enough. Poor bastard. Let's see. This one. At this point, I actually have no real leading guide. It's just, do side quests as you see them. Yeah, I don't know. And also, you get a lot of the clock because it unlocks more side quests. Message coming in, Commander. Big surprise, the Alliance needs you again. <coughs> Shepard, <coughs> this is Admiral Hackett with Alliance Command. We've got a mission for you. An Alliance officer named Major Kyle has set up a small compound in the Hulking Hedda cluster. <sighs> He's attracted a number of followers, mostly biotics. Of course, it's biotics. He's become an outspoken critic of the Alliance, and we believe he's mentally unstable. This could be trouble, Shepard. I'll look into it. Three days ago, we sent two Alliance representatives to meet with him at his compound. They've disappeared. We believe Kyle and his followers killed them. That compound is a cult, Shepard. They call him Father Kyle now. He set himself up as some kind of religious leader. I might be able to end this without violence. That may not be possible, Commander. We don't want a bloodbath, but Kyle is dangerous. I'll trust you to use your judgment. Hack it out. What do we have here? Nothing interesting. Anything here? It's all right. League of One Medallion. Cobalt. Anything down here? No. Anything here? Oh. Clendagon's most striking feature is, of course, the Great Rift Valley that stretches across the southern hemisphere. What is most fascinating about the rift is it does not appear to be natural, 
The geological record suggests it is the result of a glancing blow by a mass accelerator round of unimaginable destructive power. This occurred some 37 million years ago. Oh my. Yep. Uh, remember that little detail, will ya? Yeah. That's gonna be one of those things that comes back later in the series. Yeah. So the thing, they put that much detail just in the planet descriptions. Yes. Years before, they even thought about uh, making a reference to it again. That too. I'm saying they, there's uh, how many planets? About a few. About a few. Yeah, and they get, and they get, you know, at least a little paragraph like that right there. For all of them. That's what I like about these games. You can just spend hours just examining everything. Yep. Attention to detail. Hmm. You can even see that rift there. <coughs> I remember when, when the f uh, f was first playing through each game, I spent like whole days on it, and during a break, meal breaks, since I was playing on console, I just sit there and read the codex. Because there's so much information. Look at this. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, that definitely doesn't look very natural. And that was a glancing blow. Well, yeah. I direct here would probably have just blown the planet in pieces. Thresher. Well, at Ooh, least... Ooh, this Well, at least it's nice to warn us now. How did I never find this in any other playthrough? Find what? The Thresher radar. Hmm. Wait, is this actually the first time you find you found that? Yeah, I've never found a Thresher radar before. Well, there's a first time for everything. There you are, motherfucker. Uh what? Um I don't think that's how it works, game. Excuse me, what the fuck? Dressers are fucking bullshit. You are going to die and you are going to provide me with free XP. There is no if and ors or buts about it, motherfucker. Now come here. No shit, Ash. Oh, I think I know why. The Mako is still super hard. Oh, no shit. Uh-oh, he's moving. Yikes! Whoa! Oh, you actually survived. <laughs> gotcha. Should really repair that. No shit. <laughs> Eesh. Well, if there's such a thing as being super optimal with the Hell uh, Miguel, was probably the hand. That was a thing. Close. Genuine concern in my voice. Yeah. Hey, what's this mercenary alert? Is it things to squish? Is it this one of the reasons why I like doing these things cooperatively? I'm. I have a. Hmm. I guess I just don't have that many reactions to stuff. Hmm. I have a side of relief. That, that's usually about as far as it goes. I think they noticed me. Nah. <coughs> <coughs> I don't think it matters. Be gone! Thoughts! 
Not even gonna bother to fight that properly. I meant to do that. Anything over here I can examine? And you know, the more I look at this supposed grizzly, the more I think it wouldn't be that mobile. Nope. Like, having a six wheel drive like that, you need your rear tires to be able to turn. Mm-hmm. Granted, the Mako doesn't do a very good job of it either, so. No, uh, the, the thing is, I mean, it's, it's just a slowly moving platform. It's, it, yeah, it's just a gun platform, that's all it is. Yeah, it's not really a tank. I mean, isn't that all a tank is? A gun platform? Well, a tank usually also has armor and cover. I mean... Yeah, I guess so. Resident tank expert being told what a tank is. This is different. <laughs> yeah, what's up to say? It's like... Wouldn't you know that level? <laughs> <laughs> The fact that you can't just omni gel the mineral surveys. Fuck! So you actually have to get it good. Motherfucker. Starbucks. Moving on. There's our objective, and there's other stuff. Stuff! Mm. And things. And stuff and, and things. Fluff. Wait, fluff? Where? Uh, right here. Uh, can't quite reach the fluff. Shit, 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 No, I don't think it's in this shit. Fuck it. Going down. So close. Ah, uh, you sort of made that. <coughs> the Mako can climb and climb for days. Yeah, once again, the skating horse of Mass Effect. That way. No this. Yeah, though I would almost wager that a horse would be a smoother ride. I mean, probably. Worse for, worse for between your legs, but way safer for your head. <laughs> Man, that's just a pretty view, in a morbid sort of way. Yeah. <coughs> just, eh, jump down. Looks like a good place to park. Yeah. Yeah, any more XP and money. Is it my idea or the more we do that, the more money you get out of it? Maybe, I don't know. The real question is what are we actually supposed to do here? I think I have to talk to this building first. Well, most effective and has talking buildings. <laughs> Shut up. This is a private sanctuary. Outsiders are not welcome here. I need to talk to the man in charge. It's important. Father Kyle wants nothing more to do with the Alliance. I want this to end peacefully. If he doesn't see me, people could get hurt. We won't let you take Father Kyle away. He protects us. We need him. The Alliance wants someone to pay for those murders. Let me speak to Major Kyle. Maybe I can find some way to help you all get out of this alive. Wait. Father Kyle will speak with you. Head to the building at the far end of the compound. He'll meet you there. Oh my. Jog, 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 jog. 
even out here you can't actually sprint, that's kind of silly. Not everything aged well. Yeah. Like, like interior level cool. design. Yeah, that definitely could be, uh, is that some kind of garden or something? No, this is just generic underground base number, I don't know. Fair enough. I was just referring to it just being like a room with nothing but potted plants. I am Major Kyle. I know why you've come. We have no quarrel with you. Why can't you just leave us alone? What happened to those other Alliance officers? The ones who came before me? They wanted to take me away from here. They wanted me to abandon this place, turn my back on my family. They spoke blasphemy. I did what I could to make their end quick and painless. I had no other choice. It was necessary to protect my children. Only I can keep them safe. The Alliance sent me to bring you in, Major. Can't you see this has gotten out of hand? Don't you understand you're endangering your followers? I respect that you have come under a banner of peace, but I cannot do as you ask. If you take away their father, my children will be helpless. You ordered your followers to kill those Alliance investigators. You must face the consequences of your actions. Do you really want your children to suffer for your sins too? No. This... this was my fault. My children are innocent, <clears throat> pure. Please, I never meant for this to happen. I... I'm sorry. You're doing the right thing, Major. Your children will be better off for it. Wait, if my children see you taking me away, they won't understand. They will attack and you will be forced to kill them all. You have shown me the error of my ways, Commander. Now you must give me time to explain it to them. It is the only way they will understand. Please, give me one hour. After that, I will meet the Alliance authorities at the gates of my compound and surrender without violence. I give you my word. I'm going to trust you. If you betray that trust, you and all your children will suffer. I will not betray you, Commander. Thank you for this. Joker can have the fifth fleet pick Major Kyle up. I just hope you know what you're doing, Commander. There's a bunch of people with shotguns in here. Mm-hmm. Kind of amazing how just some of the quests happen to give you those big freaking messages right in them. I know, right? Some of don't. <laughs> Some quests start, start an ending without even a hint of, the, of there even being a quest. Nagi Nada 4. Oh man. And a whole bunch of other stuff. Maybe this will be a better... Finally, a better sniper rifle! It even looks different. Finally. Nice. And ooh, much better armor. It doesn't look too bad. I mean, red and black is... Pretty much your colors anyway, right? Yeah, yeah kind of. And they're also usually renegade colors, but that's uh, details, yeah, right? Beside the point. Irrelevant! Exactly. Yeah, say it's just, it's just a freaking garden. It's nothing but potted plants. <laughs> I mean, when you're underground, you don't really have much option. Yeah. It's not like the surface is any better. Okay. Let's grab these anomalies and see what else there is on this rock. Yeah. Mm -mm 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 you can do it, Michael. Just you keep can climbing, climb. just keep climbing, just keep climbing, climbing, climbing. Come on. Come on. Don't you dare. There you go. Is 
that. I wonder if someone's already gone and calculated how much traction the micro actually needs to have in order to pull that off. Uh, I imagine someone has. <laughs> I imagine someone has, but they'd have to do it a lot because uh, I don't know if you noticed. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, but on the details for most planets you can land, even the planets you can't land on, it even shows their gravity. Yeah. And uh, and not every planet has one G. Not every planet has the same uh, soil type either, so it would be rather difficult. Well, well, we're not the scientists here. No, I'm just here to shoot stuff. That's okay. Now what is this? I'm not yeah. really sure exactly what my expertise would be. I don't know psychology. Not, not really. Mm, I don't know diplomacy. Yeah, yeah. Let's go with that. You're more diplomatic than me. That's for sure. <laughs> Fair enough. In the right circumstances, I could potentially inspire a group to action. I might, and I might keep leadership of a group. But I'm not a diplomat. I don't avoid conflicts. I solve them. Yeah. Now, what are you? Can I? I can access you. That's a lot of red. Indeed it is. Gotcha. Gotcha, bitch. Okay. And numb. Okay, we already got that. Oh, so we went around one by accident. Well. Back up the mountain. Yay! If they bring back driving segments to the new Mass Effect game, they need to really smooth out the terrain. Yeah. I don't think every non-garden, non-Earth-like world is going to have jagged mountain ranges that look like someone took the noise brush and went ham with it. Yeah. And after my time using How the Unreal Engine, I can safely say this is exactly what it looks like if you take the noise brush and go <laughs> ham with it. Fair enough. And, you know, by the way, people might have to, like, a hovercraft or something. No, but no, no. You will learn if it, it in Mass Effect. If it worked well. Like, like you'll, you'll learn next game. Demeco is better. Uh, that scares me. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, the M44 is an alright vehicle if you, you know, are good at playing Tohu. Okay. Let's just put it this way. Uh, it is very, very fragile. Ah. So it's mostly used for moving around rather than for actually fighting. Yes, unfortunately, you have to use it to fight. Oh, see, that's the. Oh my god, why can I not get up this. Ma oh shit. Nice. If only they added the Imperium levels of vehicle customization. Imperium? Yeah. Imperium doesn't really have much in the way of vehicle customization aside from hover vehicles uh, and ships. And uh, you know, the fact that you build it manually, select. I guess. Uh, choose how much armor and weapon rate they have, the kind of engine, how high they are. And I don't remember the um, how well the uh, rover from uh, Andromeda handles. I can't imagine mm. it handles too much better. Even worse, yeah. it's unarmed. It's unarmed. And if it if it hand if if the hovers handled as well as the Imperium hovers, then that already be an improvement. <sighs> That's an entirely different story, though. Okay, as a well built Imperium hover. <laughs> Like, yes, I am aware that you can technically completely push the building of an Imperium over. I know there's tracks leading somewhere else, but I want to see what's here first. 
But of course, there's loot. Noise. And who can say not to loot? People who are no fun. Southwest. Where's? Uh, it's probably the mercenary alert. Uh, so basically, we already finished it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's get off this rock. On yeah. to the next side. Um, right? And I think that's a pretty good time to. Uh, yeah, yeah, you got a good point there. So yeah, next time we'll continue exploring probably. Something like that. Yeah. yeah. See you next time.